pretty hair girl. What? <laughs> Hi, it's Monday night and this is Twisted Stitches. You know, it's really hard when you're home all day working and then you have to come to the shop and get ready. And all of a sudden you realize all the hundreds of things that you had to do just to get ready to get ready. And, but here we are. And we're so glad to be here with you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Monday night at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. How is everyone? I hope you had a super duper weekend. Do we have anybody with us or are they all, are they all quiet tonight? She wore a yellow polka dot sweater because it's sweater weather. I'm to show this to you who's ever on. Look at this. I don't, she does it so well. This is uh oh, my color palette. Oh, look at all these amazing colors that I can that that I can now wear. None of them of which I'm wearing tonight. <laughs> That's really the scariest part. But you know, I did find uh, we had such a fun time yesterday with Laura, uh, with with Shirley. Did I just call Shirley Laura? You did. Too many people in my in my life right now. But that's always a good thing, right? But look at all those co pretty colors. So I am a full-on winter. This palette is just such fun. And we had such a grand time discovering all the wonderful colors we can wear. And you know what was the most fun thing was one of the ladies last night or yesterday, after she got her colors, her color palette all organized, she was the cutest thing watching her run around the store checking to see which colors she could actually wear. It was just such a grand time we had. Um, so I am very thrilled with what we had there. And for those of you who have asked if Shirley could come to the retreat, the answer is yes. So you'll be hearing more about that as time goes on. Um, we're going to be offering it as an option at the retreat uh, for anybody who wants to uh, take advantage of that. But I will, I will promise you this. If it's something you want to do when we put it out there, sign up for it early because these uh, it takes about a half hour per person. So I do know she won't get through everybody at the retreat. So it's going to be on a first come first serve basis as far as signups go. So that's what we got there. So that was a fun Sunday. And um, I got some things to share with you tonight. But if, is anybody with us? Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right. Darren <laughs> Towers. Hello from Cape Cod. Hi, Donna Nahajlo. Hi, everyone. Oh, God. Beth Ann Wilkes. Hi, everyone. And Lila Foster says good evening. Doing the show some justice tonight is Dina Justice Hi, Dina. says hello. And all the way from Eureka, California, we've got Rita Johnson Cotterman. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Rita. Hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. Hashtag yarn it. <laughs> Pam Rose. Hi, y'all. Deb Massa, hi, happy Monday. Happy Monday, Deb. You just talk about doing justice. You did some justice to that, um, the heart hat that you did. Oh, my phone's not here. I left my phone home. I was going to show you all. I can't believe I left my phone home. I was going to show it. you all the adorable uh, Love Always hat that, uh, that Deb did. Look at Nitty Gritty Yarn Group page and you will see it. And I'm going to take a picture of the hat and put it on Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl page too, just to show you some great color options. She did this cute little blue and what is it, aqua or yeah, I think it was like an uh, even a lighter minty and and um, and peach. Just the most adorable colors. It looks fantastic. I'm sorry, Paul. Who else is here? Amy Longo Henley says hi. hi Amy. Donna Masung. Hi all. And hi, Deborah Masung Griffith says hi. hi. Welcome. Lori A. Roy's good evening Hi, and Lori. Tina Yakovu. Uh -oh, so Tina. happy I remembered to turn my favorite show on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that deserves highlighting. <laughs> now that I learned how to do that on here. Oh, you're so good. Nancy Robertson. Hello, everyone. And you too, Paul. <laughs> All right, I gotta highlight that one too. We love love me some Nancy Robertson. <laughs> And we got Karen Wills tuning in from Sacramento, California. Lila Foster, I love having my colors done. I am a spring. There, you know, I was amazed that we had, a, a, I think, three springs in the room. That so really Libby cool. Cook says hi with a hand-waving emoji. And local friend, 
Michelle Mingo Lewis. Hey there. We could yell hi. Kim Kerstetter. Hi, everyone. Hi, Man, I'm so sorry. I missed you the other day. I had so much work to do. It was ridiculous. Well, poor Kim. She was in and out. <laughs> well, I bet you if I was here, she'd be in and out in about three hours. No, well, that's why she made sure she was in and out before you got here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's see here. We got Jill Tamament. Oh, Hello. Double hand emoji. Hello. Marianne Murray Summer says hi. And Deb Massa says thanks. Jeannie McLean. Hi, hi everyone. Wow. Listen to all these folks here tonight. Kristen Parker says hi. And Nancy Parks. Hi, Paulette. And chopped liver. <laughs> I don't think that's funny. I think it's hysterical. I don't think so. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Kim Kerr said, I'm sorry I missed you too. Next time, lunch, I promise you. Yeah. Oh, why All not? right. <laughs> Call in the groupies. Oh, yeah. So oh, lunch. yeah. Groupies. <laughs> yep. I can't do it this Saturday, but maybe next week, Listen the, the following Saturday. Listen to you. No, Jerry's getting me tickets to uh, the food and beverage thing. Convention that's oh, coming at, today. At, um, at Mohegan? Yeah. Oh, cool. And I told them Saturday's the day I want to do it. Guess what we're doing on March 23rd. What? We'll get tickets the oh. other night. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like my mother. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the Guard Art Theater to see Mr. Chaz. So, yeah, I'm all excited. So, Chaz Palmateri. Yes. Be going. We're going to go see Chaz Pomegranate. <laughs> Jillian Goldra says hello. hello. The Paulette's only seen a Bronx sale about 5,000 times <laughs> last month. No, don't get smart. But um, until you see the, the one man show, it, there's nothing like it. There's just I'm a one man like show. I, I just finished watching The Boys in the Boat. Has anybody seen The Boys in the Boat? Good, good movie. Um, it was on Amazon Prime. I bit the bullet and spent the 20 bucks to rent it because That's I crazy. wanted to see it. But I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. And um, and it's definitely worth it's definitely worth seeing. Rita Johnson Cutterman says fun and Deborah Jansen's tuning in with a high all. Hi, Deb. How are you? So all right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Well, you know, it's funny. Hi, Jill. Jill and I are gonna be doing a little a little thing coming up in uh, in April, so I'm waiting to get some 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 goodies from her to to pop that off there and get it on the, get it out to everybody. Um, we're gonna be doing sock school, sock school, sack it to me, sack it to me. Remember so that? Libby Cook said, "Friends said great movie with a thumbs up emoji." Oh yeah, yeah, it was a good movie. It was good Nancy movie. Parks says that movie looks good. Glad you liked it. Yes, it was very good. So uh, so. Jill is going to be doing some stuff with us in April. Um, we got we got like mega things going on at the shop here. We are off to a running start with 2024, and um, you know we started off this weekend with the event um, with the the new year, new color, and um, and now we are just you know schooling. In. And then last week, Jill um, Whitney introduced the love always hat and cowl and and our unsubscription box so um and it was so cute i love the way people are saying oh i got my unsubscription box today we just love the fact that it you know this whole idea has caught on so well and uh, there's no monthly obligation we're going to be putting out a kit every month for you and there's going to be uh, lots of variety but they're going to be doable projects that you can actually um, you can gift or you can keep for yourself. You can hats and cowls and figureless gloves and all these wonderful little things that you can do. Um, and uh, as evidenced by Deb Massa, get done very quickly. So Deb, get I, her think, done. I think you did the hat and a headband. Um, I think was the kit that you were doing. And Julie Diddy Stark got a bunch and bunches and bunches of them because I'm just trying to remember all the people who ordered them. But I can't because there are too many. But so keep them coming, guys. That kit is going to be available here. So um, if you want it, we use Jody Long's Chow. And you can pick whatever colors you like. And, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, got a, it's got a heart in it. But it certainly is not dedicated to Valentine's Day. And uh, so we look forward to having you work on that little project. And um, any comments or questions of you for it? John and Ahajlo, how long will you keep the unsubscribe available? The un well, it'll be uh, the unsubscription. The unsubscription box will be available. The 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 model 
is going to be full a full year. So next month we'll have another um, another kit, and then in March there'll be another one, et cetera, et cetera. They'll come around around the fifteenth of the fifteenth of each month, and uh, so the the kits will always be available, but they're exclusive to us for a certain period of time. I think it's till mid February. I think is what. Uh, where we have it worked. So that reminds uh, me of a song. But the kit will always be available at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. And then next month we add another kit to it. And that will be the unsubscription box for that month. And um, I don't know what Whitney's working on right now, but uh, she'll have another surprise for us coming up in February. Um, that reminds me of a song by Badfinger. Remember Badfinger? Wanted here it is, come and get it. If you <laughs> want it, here it is. Come and get it. You think I didn't know that? You thought I was too old to know that, didn't you? No. <laughs> no. So, so wow, I started I working. That. I started working on a new, a new um, project because I wanted to use this artisano yarn, artisano by Jody Long. Don Hajo says, "Awesome, thanks." You're welcome. And um. I love it. I love the I love the little flex in it, and I was just dying to try it out. So I found this great little project. Lisa Simmons, good evening, everyone, and I remember that song. Yeah. <laughs> and so our little project that we're I just I just put these up on the website. This is called the Reba Cowl. Let me see if I can like Reba McIntyre. Like Reba McIntyre. I don't know if that was who she had in mind when she named the cowl. Maybe her granddaughter or daughter's name is Reba. But it's a it's a slip stitch cowl, and I am a big fan of slip stitch. Lila Foster, that yarn is gorgeous. Yes, yes, and I especially like it in this project. So let me show you how it's working up. I'm using the. Um, let me find my colors. Using the pink and the green. Kirsten Parkhurst, I agree. And green. So these are the colors that I'm using for mine. And it, but I, the pattern for those of you who uh, get a little bit crazy when it comes to charts right, is right. both written and charted. I encourage you to work on learning how to read the charts. It will make your life so much easier, especially when you have a, a project like this that keeps growing and growing and growing and your stitches keep going, you know, you keep having to repeat, 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 repeat. It's so much easier when you can read the chart and just go across. Otherwise, that's an awful lot of letters going on, you know, the knit ones and the and the make ones and the make one lefts and make one rights and slip one here and slip one there. Um, it's a lot easier to keep track of it in the chart. Questions, Paul? Uh, Kristen Parker says, beautiful job, Paulette. Gorge. Thank you, dear. Thank and, you. but wait, there's more. Lila Foster loved the way it knitted up. Yeah. And so, Rita Johnson, Cotterman, what weight is that yarn? This is a DK. It's knitted on a US 7 needle. So, and they, you know, they, they talk about using a self-striping yarn. Well, this is, it's kind of, it's kind of striping. And yes, it, I guess you could call that self-striping. So we've got two different self-striping colors. And um, so, I mean, look at this combination. Isn't that pretty? Wouldn't that make a gorgeous color, a, a co color combination for the cowl? Jackie Vandenberg, that pattern is really fun. I have made it. Oh, and cool. Rita Johnson Cutterman, so pretty. And Lisa Simmons, my dog's name was Reba. Oh, really? When I adopted her, she had no idea what her name was. So, yep. I renamed her Sailor. There you go. Hey, like Sailor Moon, every day a new adventure. There's another great combination. So, on the website, you will find this kit. And here's something else if you want to do some, some subdued colors. Mary Evans, hello from near Dallas. Hi, Mary. And Love um, Dallas. Did a um, seven day barbecue crawl in Dallas so in January of 2023. And then there's the red, and this is a fun color combination too. So lots of great ways to do this. So on the website, um, all you do, it takes one of each color. And I wanted to get, you know, get a head start on this. So, um, so I could show you what it was looking like, but it takes one of each color for the cowl. So you could just put the color, your color choices in the, um, in the notes section uh, at checkout. 
So all the colors are there. Uh, but I wanted to talk with you about the garter tab cast on because, you know, when you have when you have um, you want me to be over your shoulder for that or? in a minute. Yeah, okay. I, I would. Thank you so much. When you have a garter tab cast on, you wind up with a center spine and everything grows out from the that center spine. Can they see like that? Paul, I can't tell. Yep. Mary yeah. Evans says, sorry, I'm late. What is the kit? The kit is called the Reba R-E-B-A cowl. And um, so when you're knitting a garter tab cast on, uh, you start with Oops. just I should go around. a small number of stitches. Whoa. And in this case, of course, I'm using a bigger, a bigger needle and bigger what yarn. What size needle? What size yarn? Well, in this in this case, oh, for the demo, matter. I'm the using demo. a bigger, yeah, I'm using a bigger yarn and needle. Well, you know what? You need to have nothing behind that because it looks interference. Oh, so okay. A lot. No problem. I can move it's this. It's harder for them to see you. Yeah, no problem. Let me move this. And I want them to be able to see it. Okay. So is that better? Lisa Simmons, more like a, a race thistle sailboats and the color is I had ready for her had sailboats on it. Oh, cute, cute. So you're knitting, you're starting off in this particular pattern with three stitches and then it tells you to knit seven rows. So I've knitted my six rows and now I'm going to go to my seventh row and I'm going to, am I, my hand in a good spot there? Yeah. Okay, so it tells me to knit seven rows, and on the seventh row, he rested. Don't turn your work. So normally we would do this, and you know, start our next row. So what we're doing here then is we are going. Then it tells us to pick up one stitch in each of the garter loops. So I'm going to pick up and knit it. So I now have three stitches on the needle. I'm going to pick up this stitch or that loop and knit it. And then I'm going to pick up the next loop and knit it. And then the next one and knit it. So now I've gone from having three stitches on the needle to having six. The next thing it tells us is to pick up the three cast on stitches. So, or the three stitches on the cast on row. So now I'm going to my cast. This is where I cast it on right down here. So I'm going to pick up the first edge stitch and knit it and then find my second. I think that would be it there and whoopsie. And then knit that one. And then my third. I think that is probably it. Now I picked up my stitch from the back, so I'm going to knit it into the back loop and cast that on. So now I went from having three stitches on my needle to having nine. Now we turn our work and this is where we actually start our pattern. So this then is going to and you can see this is where the last stitch was. I might have caught the last stitch in the wrong place. Let me grab that. Hold on so that I can show you on that last. Oopsie. Right in there. So I think that's going to be the better stitch to pick up. Lisa Simmons, I take a smaller DPN and pick up the purl stitches. Then knit the stitches off the DPN. Yep, you can do that as well. You can do that as well. So now I have what's going to become the top of my work. And if you look here at my exam, at my actual project, I'm still a person who likes to put my a marker in the front of my work. This was my original cast on here. And then I did my, my garter tab. And then I picked up all my stitches in that area to give me the beginning of my work. And then with this, you don't put your center marker on for a little while. They have, they have you knitting several rows before you start with your center marker. And um, I think you I think you go to you have 13 stitches so or 17 stitches before you put your marker on. And then what you start doing is you will start increasing stitches. So in this case, we knit one and then make one left. And when we make one left, we pick up the bar between the stitches from the front and knit it through the back. And we just turned one stitch into two. 
and then we go across the row and I'm not remembering the pattern, but I'm just showing you how this goes from starting out with three stitches and how it's going to grow across. And then we're going to knit to the last stitch and then they want us to make one right. So I like to grab my stitch in that place. That bar is always a little bit confusing and everybody seems to have their favorite place to pick it up. The most important thing that I find is that I don't want it to have make a hole in my work. So when we're leaning one right, we make one right, we pick up the, the bar from the back. I always think of right and rear and then knit through the front of the stitch and then knit our last stitch. And so then you just keep, your just piece just keeps growing and growing from there. So now we added one stitch on each end. Eventually, we're going to start adding stitches in the middle as well. So you'll wind up putting a center marker in, and then you'll be adding stitches on either side of that center marker. And that's how your little Reba cowl will take its shape. And I'm just loving this pink and gray. Very, very pretty. So that's the little Reba cowl and our Garda tab cast on. And if you need to take a look at this, again, if you want to watch this, all our all our shows, uh, of course, they live on Facebook forever. Uh, but and YouTube. It, but it may not always be easy to find them on Facebook, and that's where I was going. But if you go to Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl on YouTube, all one word, Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, that's where you will find uh, our videos as well. Uh, all the shows are right there on our YouTube channel. So that is our little uh, project that we did this week. And, uh, you know, I always like doing little tips and hints. And we get so wrapped up in all the other stuff that I sometimes just forget. And it was I was really am happy to be able to share that with you this week. So if there's something else you'd like to uh, to have demonstrated on the show, please add that in the comment bar and we will start taking notes so that we don't forget to give you some a little bit of instruction as we go along. Um, Lisa Simmons, I use the following saying, I left you out front. I'll be right back. <laughs> That's cute. That, yep, we all have our little ways of remembering things. Kind of like piano. Every good boy deserves fudge. Fudge? Yeah. That's how you learn fun. whatever it was. Boy deserves fun and not fudge. No, fudge. That's uh, something I learned when I didn't learn how to play piano. <laughs> I didn't learn how to play piano, too. I thought I was going to learn how to play piano, but I didn't learn how to play piano. Um, so oh, something else I wanted to share with you. So if there's something else you wanted to see that you want to see demonstrated on the show, let me know and we'll work on that for you. But another oh, and we also have some great artisanal projects in the shop. Come this way, honey. Come hither. Come hither. So this is uh, so these are the projects that uh, Jody designed for Artisano this year. This was a new yarn that came out uh, by Jody. This one's called Shibon. Shibon. And just a cute little basic cardigan. Excuse me. And then, uh, so let me tell you about the fiber content of this yarn. It is 52% wool, a 35% alpaca, 30, a 10% silk, and 3% viscose. So nice combination of. Let's be selling this stuff faster than I can think of it. Um, that was a pretty one. This is another one of my favorites. I love this this project using um, Artisano. And this one is called Zainab. Zainab. But I like how the little cables, um, the cables show up in this and the flex in the, in the yarn look really pretty. Nancy Park says the shape from this cast on, it's kind of a half circle like sunrise. Well, it is, it, it just, it grows out from the center and, and those, you know, those little three stitches in the center, uh, you're increasing on the ends and in the middle. So as you're working on it, it's creating this little fan effect. And so it's growing out from the center point 
on each end and which is kind of cool because then when it's done you have that a shawl that you can kind of like just wrap nicely around around your neckline i would wear this as a cowl i kind of bandana it with a little knot in the front and i think it's going to look really cute and it's going really fast so michelle mingo lewis that pullover was an easy knit oh did you do this one michelle this one's really pretty i like this i like this one a lot it's got a little drop shoulder on it really cute I wonder if Jody will ever do anything with a with a top down. That would be really interesting, where you don't have to do any seaming. We haven't done. He has. I don't know that. At least I haven't seen one that he's done. Um, and speaking of Jody, and speaking of Jody Long Yarns, um, we also I wanted to share with you. We had a lot of conversation around the Alcova scarf, and I did discover that it had not been blocked and that was my mistake because i did not ask donna if she blocked it until after we after there was lots of conversation around it so now that it's blocked i must tell you the the fabric has softened up beautifully look at those look at the ribs in there now how pretty how pretty that is it still continues to be um not a very long scarf but i will say that if it was longer it might wind up being really heavy I mean, there's, you don't need much. This is a really warm scarf with this, uh, this ribby, uh, this cowl of uh, cabling in here. Michelle Mingo nice. Lewis. Yep. That's the one I had to do in a week. <laughs> well, as long as you keep saying yes, you'll keep getting more and more of those. <laughs> if, if we, you know what they say, if you can show, if we show them, we can do it. They keep wanting us to do it. So now did you put that with them with, uh, with blocking cats? This one, yes, this one had blocking cats on it this week. Yes, we would Oreo help to block this, but isn't that pretty? I do love it. So that's another one of our, um, the projects that we had. So it's interesting because last week we introduced the Love Always hat and cowl and, and headband, and that uses chow. This week we're talking about um, the, the, the Reba cowl, and that's using the jody long artisano we have this one so we've been using a lot of jody's yarns lately and um you know they're always a pleasure to work with so we have such a grand time and in fact if jill is still on jill we have to get you to come on and talk about the sugar i think it's the sugar sweater because we now have a sample of it here in the shop. so um we will uh, we'll talk about that at some point too that one's really pretty and that's another one that's listed with andiamo light so and andiamo light's one of my favorite yarns because i'm a i'm a real wooly wool girl and this is a great wooly wool to work with. Really. Robbie McCarthy, Artisano is really nice to work with. The Nikita Cape uses that yarn. Uh, right, exactly. Yep, that's another one. So yes, lots of great projects with Artisano. Um, did I get the Nikita Cape? I don't, I don't think I have that one here. Um, but that's another fun project with that yarn as well. So Artisano is our featured yarn this week. And um, we hope that you will use that for one of your projects. And um, what else we got, Paul? Well, I know we're gonna do the sharing box, yeah. but I'm trying to think, am I forgetting to share anything with them right now? Uh, hey everybody, anything that you, you forgot your share? phone home? I forgot my phone home, yeah. Thank you for sharing that with them again. <laughs> Little stinker that he is. All right. Okay. We did some rearranging in the shop. It looks really pretty. Take a tour. Take a little tour. All right, let's yeah. do a quick tour. This is still our bulky, our bulky yards and our super like the camera guy and our super bulky yards because so we're kind of starting in a little backward here. Bulky and super bulky. I want to do another sweater with silky twist. I love water, that water. sweater. Um, here we got some new yarns. But in. that's dash over there, right? Yep. We got some new yarns in here. Oh, I haven't opened them. They're not really new, new. They're just new colors because um, we have some new projects coming out soon. So I want to make sure I have enough yarn. Darren Showers, are the unsubscription boxes for knitting? Yes. And Lisa Simmons, sometimes it's nice to leave the phone at home. Yeah, no. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't like to leave not my phone at home. Not when your phone is your business tool. Right. No, absolutely not. It's no. with me all the time. Mary Evans, what is the easiest stitch when you are learning to knit? Knit? 
It is the knit stitch is the easiest. That's what I'm doing. I'm making my scarf work. That's what you're doing. All knit. But if you don't do it, here's my thoughts about that. And and I tell Paul the same thing. And I would tell any other knitter that or any other new knitter, just keep doing it. Don't stop. You know, I I tell people we've got a knitting, a, a learn to knit class right now. And I tell them, you know, we haven't had class for two weeks because of the snow. And I don't care what you do. Just keep knitting. Keep practicing that stitch because it's what you it's what you want to get that muscle memory in there. So that every once you learn that knit stitch, then you can learn the purl stitch. And once you learn the purl stitch, you can learn to put the knit stitch and the purl stitch together. And so it's it's practice, 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 practice. Mary Evans says that's great advice with a heart emoji. Yep. People say to me, what are we going to make when we when we have a learn to knit class? You're going to make the knit stitch. And when you're done with the knit stitch, maybe you'll have a coaster or maybe you'll have a headband or maybe you'll have a dishcloth. It all depends on how that work goes for you. But just keep practicing. Are you a newer knitter, Mary? Rita Johnson Cotterman, I like the jewel tone of my name in the share bucket. <laughs> Tina okay, Yakavu, did you remember to put my name in the share bucket? I did, Tina. I would not forget you, my dear. She says, I tell people about you all the time. Why isn't my name in there? <laughs> the, her name's in there. My name is in there. <laughs> we don't know who's going to come up. No, we have no idea. People have been contributing to that sharing bucket since 2020, right, Paul? Something like that. Yeah, we went live. Mary Evans, I want to learn. Oh. Oh. Well, you you come to oh. the right place, Mary. Are you local or do you live out of the area? I don't know. I don't know where you are. I can't. We're a short drive. Or is it a plane or, it or train class? away? So. Lisa Simmons, it was the muscle memory of knitting that helped me with my OT. Yep, absolutely. So here we have our little Noro corner. And that's the part that I haven't moved around yet. I'm going to be moving that around because I want to. I want to just kind of switch things. Oh, right. she's near Dallas. Oh, you're near Dallas. Oh. No www.united.com. No, we could do a, We could do a virtual class. <laughs> <laughs> but the only thing is, you got to bring some barbecue when you come up. So these are um, fingering and sport weights are here, and we've got some great. I, I really am hoping to get a project with this lovely. A uh, cash silk light. This is another one that's got to get on my needles because I just think this is a fabulous little. Um, it's it is a merino and cashmere, so it's kind of a brushed. It's kind of a brushed um, mohair looking, but it's not mohair. It's cashmere and merino. Rock the cashmere. Right? And Rock look at all the these gorgeous art yarn colors that we recently got in. And so then we. Mary Evans says, "I will bring the barbecue." All right. <laughs> it's, it's a date. We just have to put it on the calendar. And then our our, D, our sports and DKs are in this area. And then our, our Worcester start. But if you have not had a chance to look at the Lane Denord Infinity Sock, if you are a sock knitter, um, this is a fantastic, fantastic yarn. I just love it. I love the feel of it. Um, and speaking of being sock knitting, uh, there I was talking to someone today who I'm working with to do some classes at the shop. And she was saying how she uses this for fingerless mitts. So we're going to talk about that as time goes on and we we get some more things solidified with her. So, Lisa, oh, you dropped something. You dropped would, the sock. Oh. Lisa Simmons said, Mary Evans, next time I'm in Fort Worth, I will help you learn. But that doesn't get you out of the barbecue. Just saying. <laughs> Jillian Goldrich, I am knitting with the cash. Cash silk. Cash silk now. Cool. Jody Long says, "Hi y'all, loving your dotty sweater." Oh, <laughs> my sweater polka dots. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I love this too. One of my favorites. It's not handmade, but it could be. <laughs> hmm. So, and you know, and here we go. One of the things that we're doing at the shop now is we're putting our yarns together so that you can see what yarns work nicely together, uh, which will work if in you know in projects, which blend well and. Um, and how you might be able to use them together in different projects. And then in the back, we have our, our um, worsted weights. Oh, you missed all the buttons, honey. I missed, well, buttons. Oh. Buttons, buttons, and more buttons. buttons Look at buttons, the varieties buttons. of buttons. Yeah, we will still need more. It's like you can never That's have a enough lot. buttons. That's a lot of buttons. Oh. Well, that's a lot of different buttons. Yeah, we 
still need more. We need to go. Oh, I love the sheep there. one. The purple sheep one here. The purple sheep one. <laughs> yeah. I love you. A bushel and a peck. E W E. Yeah. So that is our show for tonight. It's our little tour of our shop. Now, the big question of the day is who wants to win, win. something Nobody. from the sharing bucket? Round and round she goes. Where she stops, only the nitty gritty yarn girl knows. And Tina's probably saying, No, don't mix them so much. Don't mix them so much. We have to. I'm going to take See, we never know who's going to win. Very it's just, it's totally random. Oh, Jesus. Don't tell me. I'm going to have to pull another name. Anna Maria won last week. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, Anna's still going to get her prize. I mean, she shares a ton, ton of times. Anna's going to get her prize. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I mean, your odds increase. The more times you share, the, more the greater the chance you have to win. But no, that's a good move. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going with this one whoa, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's too many. I can't do that. And the winner. Andrea Whitmore. Andrea Whitmore. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man. That's it. That's what we got for tonight. Now, guys. Tina, just, uh, you know, it's great that you tell everybody about us, but also share online because we get notified that you shared online when you share it publicly. So then... Every time we get a notification, it says, oh, Anna Maria shared, Donna shared, yeah, so-and-so shared. <laughs> so it's shared easier to and, know and because we're not me, where you are. Everybody, everybody, everybody. The more, we, the more you share, the more people know about us. Yep. The more your name goes in the bucket, Correct. the more we share back with you. And when people come in and they say, oh, so-and-so sent me, we put your name in too because you shared us. That's right. So we, do, we, we share the love. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a fantastic week. We look forward to seeing you next week. And in the meantime, we love you. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.